Welcome back to another episode of Human Resource Machine. Let's keep going. Zero Exterminator. Where do you see yourself in five years? Or ten? I have a note here from your other bosses that say, From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. You can always ask me to show the optimization challenges for the current assignment. Send all the things that are not zero to the outbox. You get a commu com new command. It jumps only if the value you're holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. Let's see, inbox. Jump if zero, outbox. Sounds right. And then we need to loop. Preservation in Initiative. It has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time only send zero to the box. What happens to all the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail up to you. Only send zeros. Inbox. Jump if zero. See if it's zero. If it's zero, then I want to send it to the out box. Otherwise, I want to skip it. Twenty-eight steps. Oh no. I don't know how much time I should spend on optimizing these things. Jump if zero. Five or fewer steps, huh? look it up. So the way you do this is you actually put the outbox first and then you don't need all this stuff. You can just say jump if zero, if it's zero, then keep going there. Like that. Um, and you need a jump right into here. Okay. 
Tricky subway hall. Please stop in my anyways. Sub hall way. Subtraction. I never learned that in school. Did you? We're, on, we're a good team. If I had six apples and you take two apples away, what do I have? Yes, a workplace theft incident. For each two things in the inbox, subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox. And then subtract the second from the first. I'll put that in the outbox and repeat. You got a new command, subtract. Inbox. Copy to zero. Subtract from zero. And then outbox. And then. Inbox. Copy to inbox. Copy to spot one. And then copy from spot zero. And then subtract from spot one. Actually, wait, hold on. Subtract from. So take the second, which is here, and subtract that with the first. Don't need these. And then outbox that. And then loop the whole thing. One, eight minus one is seven. Nine. Three minus nine is negative six. Check the second from the first. Does it actually want me to do negative three right here? Is that what it wants? commands, 40 instructions. Cool. Equalization room. 
Sometimes, some numbers are bigger than other numbers, and sometimes, they are the same. How can we know? I read about that here in this great book, which number are you from the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. We're doing just fine. I don't have a favorite employee. I enjoy supervising them all equally. Get two things from the inbox. If they're equal, put one of them in the outbox and discard non-equal pairs. Repeat. Hello world. What is this? Um, inbox. Copy to zero. Inbox. See, copy two. Do I need to do that? Maybe not. Let's see. You've got comments. You can use them if you like to mark sections of your program. All right. They're equal. So let's see. Subtract from zero and jump if zero to outboxing it. Not will jump around. Something like that, maybe. And copy from that. Total two items, not one. Equal put one in the outbox. Let's watch a little more slowly. Okay, one minus one is zero. Take the lunch out there. Management expects a total of two items, not one. Oh, my jump was the wrong spot. Expected. need another jump because this does have to jump all the way back. That's always messing me up. see like how you optimize these programs very well. Uh, it's just not clear to me where the optimization comes from. The last time I kind of switched it around and did the outbox first and then jumped around. Your solution fails, works those specific inputs, but fails in other possible inputs. 
Yes, he'll give you some inputs that cause your solution to fail, so you can see for yourself. Nice, you can't just cheat and just put two inbox inboxes. That's funny. You get an achievement for that, actually. That's pretty good. Oh, okay, I have three taps for different versions of the program. I guess you can go down here and copy. You can go over here and paste it. So you can mess with it. So what they did before was you do this. And then you put a jump in the beginning to jump directly to here. And jump if zero. If it's zero, you jump here. Zero. If this one's not zero, this then you jump to here. There we go. Same kind of thing. It's kind of reversing the order. I think that's a good stopping point for the episode. See you next time on Human Resource Machine.